So, Max Verstappen, a future multiple world champion, or just a crash kid? The next Michael Schumacher, or the next Pastor Maldonado? It's clear he, Verstappen, the young Dutchman, has got the speed for F1. But is he too aggressive? And are, is this the cause of all these crashes? And of course, this is one of the biggest talking points in F1. At the moment, following this difficult start of the 2018 season. Because of course, he had the spin in Australia. He had the collision with Hamilton in Bahrain. And then the collision with Vettel in China. So, this is a big discussion point. So, I thought the best way for me to find out what everyone thinks about this is to ask the question on Twitter. So, yeah, I asked Twitter what people think of Max Verstappen, and I hear are their answers. Most of these guys are all YouTubers and stuff, so obviously go and check out their YouTube channel and their Twitter, but let's make a start. So, Robbie says that, he, that Verstappen doesn't need to change his driving style much at all, he just needs to be a bit more patient. When overtaking other drivers. And yeah, I would have to agree with that. And to be honest, it looks like some of the other people I'm about to talk about who also answered my question kind of agree with you there, Robbie. I guess he, we want him to be aggressive because it's, it's really good to watch. But he just has to be a bit more patient. You know, he could, I still maintain he would have won that race had he waited to another lap to overtake Vettel. He would have easily have won the Chinese Grand Prix and could have got a podium in. Bahrain, and I guess he shouldn't have got so frustrated in Australia. Anyway, moving on to now to Adam Joe, he also talks about the idea of patience, and he actually uh, mentions how Daniel Ricciardo is also pretty aggressive, but successful Ricciardo's overtakes in China were pretty crazy as well. I think all of you are going to agree with me with that one. So maybe says Verstappen should take lessons. Of his teammates. I don't think Max Verstappen is going to want to do that. And I don't know if Tanya Ricciardo would want to do that. Especially if they're going to be title rivals now in 2018. But that is a fair point. Ricciardo is a successful aggressive driver. And maybe you could say the same for Hamilton as well. So it, it, being aggressive isn't necessarily the issue. It just depends how aggressive and how patient you are. Moving on now to uh, Paddock Podcast. So he says... That Verstappen also doesn't need to change his driving style. So this seems to be the majority opinion on Twitter. We don't that Max Verstappen shouldn't change his driving style. And the Paddock podcast kind of mentioned how Ayrton Senna didn't change his driving style, despite what some critics may have said about it. He also says that Verstappen needs to think think more before he actually makes a move, and I guess needs to plan his moves better. And ultimately, he, he talks about how Ayrton Senna. You have crashes at the early point of his career, such as in Monaco in 1988. But after he w- he won Monaco five times, so you know, as, as Max Verstappen's dad, Josh Verstappen said apparently on Dutch television, I assume at the weekend, Max will learn from his mistakes and will come back stronger. Now moving on to T- T- Rory, who says overall Max Verstappen has great racecraft. However, he needs to be more patient and think about the long game. That seems to be what everyone else is saying. Yeah, back when he was at Toro Russell, he could get away with these dive bombs, but now he's fighting against the best drivers in F1, such as Lewis Hamilton, uh, Sebastian Vettel, Kimi Raikkonen, and maybe even Daniel Ricciardo, and they're not going to let him just at par. So, you know, Hamilton didn't back out of it when Verstappen was trying to overtake him in Bahrain, and Vettel kind of was the same in China. And, and Verstappen is going to have to learn. And he also, he also says that, you know, it's clear Verstappen and Ricciardo have very similar driving styles. So obviously, Ricciardo has the experience to know when to try and move. And I guess this is some a, an area where Verstappen is going to have to work on. Especially if he wants to win a world championship. Finally, we're going to now go to Anthony Hamilton. Who says, that, he also says that he doesn't think uh, Max Verstappen... Does, he doesn't need to change his driving style, it's fine as it is. He just needs to think more about his decisions, be more patient. And he reckons as he as Verstappen gets older, maybe more age, he will be able to learn from this better. But he also says what, kind of what I agree it's It's really good style to watch, especially when it works. Overtaking places when over other drivers would. So, I, I think about the outside of Puon, um in 2015, Belgium. I think about... Outside, um, is it 
Maggots and Beckett and Silverstone against uh, Rosberg in 2016. Yeah, Verstappen has done some crazy overtakes. Look at the start in Mexico last season. However, of course, there is a thin line between amazing overtakes and crashes, of course, because it's F1, it's so close. That's how the sport works. He got it wrong in China, and hopefully he'll learn from it. And he also says that all this discussion about him being replaced is a bit crazy. And I, I, I think that's kind of a fair point. I mean, Kvyat was replaced after a few races, after after some tough races um, in 2016. Was replaced by Verstappen. Verstappen has already proved himself at Red Bull. He's got a few wins, while in 2015 Kvyat just wasn't um, at that point yet. So I don't think he's going to be replaced. And ultimately, to end this video, I saw an article earlier saying that Red Bull kind of say that Verstappen reminds them of a young Vettel. Look at the mistakes Sebastian Vettel made in the early part of his career. Look what he did to Mark Webber in Turkey 2010. Look what he did to James Button in Belgium in 2010. You know, the best drivers, and even look at Hamilton in 2011 and stuff, he had difficult overtake, difficult crashes, difficult seasons. The best drivers can have difficult seasons. doesn't mean they have to change. And I'm going to say that Verstappen will eventually become a multiple world champion.